What's going on guys? This is Chris back with another video. Hey, you can see where we're at. We're at the Sunshine Skyway Fishing Pier. You guys want to always see us here, so we decided to come back. You're tired of boat videos, tired of kayak videos. You just want pier videos. We're out here fishing for some kingfish. They finally made their way in. Josh is over here, I guess. Uh, I don't really know. I don't All know you gotta what, do is hook it. I don't know what he's doing. All right, so here's the deal. Is I've never fished with the trolley rig before. Josh is teaching me. He's done this for a long time. And I've actually filmed a couple videos of him setting up a trolley rig. But whenever I'm filming, I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing or what he's doing. I'm paying attention to the recording. So I'm learning how to do it one step at a time. I know you. So let's get started. You guys are going to learn with me. And uh, hopefully we catch some fish. Let's go. So I finally got my trolley rod hooked up with the rocks out there. It took me much longer than we would have liked. I don't, I don't really know what I was doing, but I was struggling. Finally got it hooked up. Trolley rod is stuck out there on the rock. So whenever I reel down, it's gonna get nice and tight. We got a Kavala, Akuma, lever drag reel. I think this is gonna be perfect for these kingfish. This is a size five uh, and it boasts 24 pounds of drag whenever it's uh, locked down. And I think, it was 18 whenever it's in the strike position, which it is now. This is a matching Kavala rod here. So this is a seven foot medium heavy, 15 to 40 pound class. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up on the pier. This should be uh, interesting. But hey, so we got it all rigged up, finally stuck out there. So how this rig works, let me just pull this up for you guys. If you guys want to watch a video on how to do this, Josh has a couple of them. I'm going to link them down in the description box below. Right here is a, a snap swivel that connects to a leader. Feels like it's a 20, 25 pound leader. Then you got some weights that's going to hold your bait down in the water. Then you got a paper clip here, which once you get the strike, it's going to release that. Those kingfish or mackerel hit it so fast that it'll just pop right off of this paper clip. Or, I'm sorry, not a paper clip. A clothespin. Oh my god. It's a freaking clothespin. Go get you one. A millennial. You just said today you were a millennial. Technically. Technically. Guys, he's calling me a millennial because I don't know what a clothespin is. No, I don't use a clothespin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Only for fishing. Reach in here. Find us one. What we got? What we got? Oh yeah, you're you're the guy right here. Let's go. Alright, so we got a stinger rig, wire stinger rig here. This is a two watt. I'm gonna hook this guy through the nose. Gotta get him out there fast. All right, so we're hooking it up to the trolley, guys. Josh is gonna tighten down the trolley rod. I'm just letting out line. Go ahead, let it out. It's going. Faster. How do I let it out? Okay, there he goes, there he goes. This was a thread fin, he'd be long dead. No doubt, he might not make it. Oh, he's almost there. Be free, Willie. Willie ain't doing too good. Oh, Willie swim. What Josh is doing is he's rocking the trolley rod easily. If you've got a light bait, you have to do that sometimes. Oh, Willie's struggling. He's semi belly up right now. Uh -huh. Oh. Did he come back? Oh. He came back. Willie back. That's what's great about free. it. Always stay at free spool while you're doing it. Free spool. Well, I mean, not like complete free spool, but yeah, that strike yeah. there. Yeah. Put your clicker on too. Matter of fact, Josh just went over all the instructions how to run, how to do this in his video, guys. Yeah, so take it, run a rope underneath. Go check his video; it's super descriptive. And then what you want to do is come back up, and you want this loop to be about right there. Put the line in through the loop. Now this is where you start to really pull, pull it tight. Like that. Pinch it right here. Then you take a little loop under, straight up. And when he gets a hit, you pull that 
and you pull pull everything loose. But this thing will not come undone. You could pull it all that you want. It's definitely freaky, I ain't gonna lie. It's tight. Don't know where Willie's at. Swimming. Yeah, he's swimming. I can see him moving, but I can't see him. All right, guys, so we got Willie out there. He's uh, he's free. Well, maybe not so free. He's, he's hooked up, but uh, hopefully he gets bit. Josh is all rigged up here. He's got his uh, outfits. He's been actually sitting here for like 40 minutes while I was just trying to hook up with the rocks. Got himself, some, got that. himself some soup and everything, man. Yeah. Didn't even share, unbelievable. But we're gonna try and catch a mackerel too. Probably put it down on one of the big rods, maybe for a jewfish. So uh, yeah. while we're waiting on the kings, I'm gonna go ahead and rig up a gotcha lure or a spoon, try and catch some mackerel, let go. All right, so let's go ahead and check Willie out. It's probably been like an hour or so. See if he's still on there. I'm not seeing a lot of action coming from my rod. Nah, Willie's there. Willie's swimming. All right, Willie's still out there, guys. He just, fish hasn't found him. So we're just set up here, fishing for Spanish mackerel. We are dedicated. It might be, it might be dark when we get one. Might be. It's, uh, what? Oh, dang, it's three o'clock already. And it's snack time while we wait. Peanut butter crackers. My go-to here. When we're out on the pier on the boat, something simple and uh, it won't go bad. Unless they get wet, don't let them get wet. I think we got out here guys somewhere around noon. Actually, probably a little before that, probably like 11, 11.30. So it's been like three or four hours, but like Josh stated, it took me like an hour just to get hung up in the rocks. I didn't have a heavy enough weight, so note to self, if we're doing trolley rigs, bring like two ounce, three ounce weights, big hooks, treble hook, preferably. Hey, what's y'all's go-to snack on the boat or pier or kayak? I wanna know. All right, guys, during snack time there, we got us a fish. It wasn't the fish that we're looking for, First one on the oh. new Akuma Kavala. We're gonna be using that as a bait right there. Nice. Let's go. During snack time, guys, I'm like looking at my hands or my phone, and Josh is like, You got a fish. Dude, he lit that bait up, Chris. Guys, it goes to show that the bait wasn't even hooked with the treble, and the fish only got the treble. Yeah, actually, you are right. The bait was hooked up on that top one, guys, that two-aught live bait hook. That goes to show you, the trolley rig works. What do you think about that, boys and girls? All right, so we're just gonna go with the flow here. We got the perfect bait for a big old Jewfish or Goliath. I'm sorry if I offended someone by saying Jewfish. <laughs> We've got the big Makara 20 conventional on the DTR Custom. This is Josh's uh, new setup here. I said it once, guys, and I'll say it again. Short box. Make sure you guys are changing your water out in your live bait. Otherwise, it will die. Put on another bait, guys. Try and get him out there quick. Get through the nose again. See if we can't find the right species this time. The wind has definitely picked up. It was dead, now it's probably blowing like 15. So Willie's gone. Frederick's going out. Shake it a little bit. Yeah. Come on. Oh shit, shit, you're getting hit. You just got hit. You just got hit. No, I didn't. Hold on, hold on. Yes, you did. That's, oh. Go, 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 go. go. Put it in strike, strike. It's, it's in strike. It wasn't, oh. it wasn't oh, strike. What are you doing? It, oh. There it goes. Go Set all the way. Up. Dude, oh, I, what is going I, on? There it is. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't do it. That button. I think that's a mackerel. That's another blue fish. That's a blue. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. All right, Chris, we didn't even get the trolley out and he's back on. I guess this is the blue fish spot. 
Frederick, rest in peace. Holy smokes, dude. He destroyed that thing off the trolley. That's that another beast. That's, that's bigger. That might be one of the one we want to yeah, use. You better watch out. You asking for trouble. <laughs> oh, my God. Second fish of the day, guys. He got the stinger rig again. You can't keep a bait in the water. Uh, maybe Man, I should check that. mine real quick. The pin goes, and I'm like, Chris, Chris nothing. Chris, I didn't you're see one, it. dude. That ain't no joke. Trying not to mess up my stinger rig, guys. You know who came up right now? Hey. Cool. What type of fish is that? A bluefish. Bluefish. All right, guys, we're gonna be throwing him down. Smaller hook than what we want. Oh, this is gonna be nasty, dude. We're about to get... Holy smokes, Chris, you got the lucky outfit or what? It actually feels pretty good if I can actually flick it over to pass strike. Yeah, that was concerning, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I can't push down that, that button. All right, so as you guys can see, the stinger rig is working exactly how it's supposed to. Both times that fish was caught on the treble hook and not the live bait hook where the bait actually was. So it's working flawlessly for that matter. Now, one thing with this Kavala reel that I'm having to get used to is whenever it's in the strike position, like whatever I push it up here. So this is, this is strike here. To go all the way into the drag, I gotta push this small button down and then push it forward. And if you don't push it, exactly right it just it, it doesn't go so i was struggling pushing that thing down trying to hook him so um that's just something that i'm gonna have to get used to i guess practice makes perfect when it comes to this because uh yeah i've never used a conventional reel that has one of those so just gotta get used to it we got another one is our last bait for now let's try and get him out there by ourselves double fisting it gotta tighten down the drag on this reel I'm just taking it easy, guys, since I'm not an expert at this. I just kind of keep dipping him back in the water, tightening up my line, keep letting him drift out there just a little bit more each and every time. What are we going to name him? We got Willie, we got Fred Frederick, both of them. Rest in peace. We'll go with Sammy. This is going to be Sammy. Hopefully Sammy is the one that finds us the king fish. As you guys can see, that first blue fish interrupted uh, my lunchtime. Didn't even get to finish finish my crackers, so I guess I'll go ahead and finish those now and uh, get back to trying to find some bait because if we don't have fresh bait, we're going to be in trouble. Josh is going to try a little bit different uh, bait on his trolley rig. Uh, I hope that clip is strong enough. Put it all the way in there. In all the groove. Way. Yep, right there. Want me to just let it down? Take it. good. Okay. Thank y'all. Oh. Now you got a new bait. Hopefully uh, all this waiting will pay off. Oh, we're trying something different, huh? Trying something different. Let's check on Sammy. Sammy! Sammy, you out there? Oh yeah, Sammy's out there. All right, guys. Hey, the king's got the best of us today. We just, we've been out here for hours, like eight hours or so. We've had our baits in the water soaking and soaking. And uh, we've tried different bait. We tried the mackerel. There's just not a lot of bait out here. There's not a lot of activity going on. The tides kind of suck. We're on like one of those one, two tide type days, the hill tides late at night. So the tide is not moving at all right now. Sun's about to go down. Um, we're just hot, we're tired. And uh, hey, let us know if you guys want us to come out and try and catch these kings again at the Skyway Fishing Pier. I hope you guys learned something new today. I definitely did. Uh, the trolley rig is a totally different style of fishing. Never done it before. Thanks to Josh for uh, giving me the ropes. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you made it this far, especially in this video, you need to subscribe because we didn't catch too much. Pound that like button, comment down below. You guys want us to try again. All right, peace.